Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Good Hello. BC in the building. Yo. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. How are your lives coming? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Yesterday I had a Dr. Akan. He's yeah. been on the show yeah. before and we've talked about um, the way forward for right. the educational system right. in uh, Africa as a whole. He's an African expert. So he <laughs> opened my eyes to a lot of things and it was really impressive. I had viewers, you know, sending their questions. Right. It was Fantastic. good. Network was okay because uh, the day before yesterday, the network was horrible. Terrible. And right. that particular lady was talking about uh, how to deal with depression right. and mm. he, she was loaded. So right. that network right. for like 20 minutes was struggling. Ooh. Yeah. Right. So okay. I'd likely have a repeat of that as well okay. so that we can get okay. more Fantastic. juice from her. She was that's good. good. So right. that's what I'm Thing. Yeah, they, we did. When we do finish, we enter kitchen cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up. I just I, I woke up at eight twenty. Mariam called me at eight eighteen. Mm -hmm. I just talked to her. I was lounging on the bed. What happened? And after I, I, I don't. I thought today was Saturday. You might. So I was just on my bed. <laughs> And I also said, ah, today is Friday. I said, no, it's Saturday. I need today is Friday, say. I said, today is Saturday. <laughs> and I'll check my phone. No, it's not Friday. <laughs> it was in your head, junk I dog. I found you where you came into the office. I hadn't brushed my teeth. I hadn't done anything. I hope you brushed I just, Of course I did. I brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. I just jumped in the shower, poured water myself. Oh, I just You'll be this. fine. <laughs> oh, thank God I live just two feet away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. Lord. We can afford to make that every kind of mistake. Day, every she day now. Did, now. The day she did, she had to call me and be begging me. I think that's it. She did not know it was today. I don't know that. I'm good. I'm grateful. Like, I think, you know when they say, fenuko. But you know, I don't, I don't believe that it's possible for you to. Um, <laughs> no, no, like you, like you jump. I'm very, very spontaneous. So okay. you know, I, I was thinking about it that these people are just. Why are you putting price to um, basic trade things that you can self learn on the phone? And I mentioned on the, on the show before I got home that day. I got two emails from people saying that oh, they would like to participate in this training. They would like me to train them on how to use um, design online. Okay, I don't say let me just put design flyer and post to the next thing. Plenty emails. So we're going to have our first class today, and somebody volunteered to train people for free on Facebook um, ads. Okay. and digital marketing oh, like the guy said awesome. okay I, I heard what you said on tv and i feel like if you want to train them on design i can train people free on marketing and i think that we've been our brother's keepers it's, i said at first i was like hey yeah. what did i put myself into but now it's looking like ah I'm going it's to join that class. How do we register? How do we register? Now, I'll just send you the link. I'm terrible with the I'm using, I decided to use a Facebook um, platform so that more people can come in. If you use Zoom, some people say they don't have Zoom, they don't right. have all that. So okay. it's a Facebook group. I think I'll join the class because yeah. I, I, trust me, digital yeah, but, but marketing. But I, I yeah. feel we shouldn't be able sure. to even do everything. Some people need to make money from yes. it. So I have a, an art guy who's on standby. Mm. Anytime I need to put out yeah. my work, so I Yeah, you don't need it. Yeah. People that need it are those that have small businesses. to start doing Some people have small businesses and they're struggling, doing it by themselves, and they're not able to put out good pictures and mm. good designs to mm. market their right. business. Okay. Those are people that need it because they're already trying a little but it's not good right. enough and they feel if they do right. a bit I better, come for the class. No, they no, will push it. <laughs> Cool, cool. So, Bele. how do I even ask about what your plans are for the weekend? It's like, you don't have any plans. Every other day. 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 So, tomorrow is Saturday, but what are you doing in the morning? You know, is that a morning morning day or okay, so a Akara day? Or? You are seeing this now. I will deliberately institute the process for Akara. Okay. Okay, mm. tomorrow. Yes, Let's do we'll do Akara, Akara tomorrow. Akara. We did, I think we did Moimoy. We did Akara last week. I think we'll do Moimoy this weekend. Mm. I'll go and buy the leaves. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll barbecue food. fish. Or uh -huh. that. He's, He's just been craving for it. Fish. Is, it, is it croaker you use? Or which one do you yeah, use? Yeah, those croaker. very big croaker. Or sniper. There's this fish called sniper. Ah. Yeah, it's pink. Yeah. It's pinkish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, 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 very you scale amazing. it too. Yeah, scale and all of that. Okay. I think I'll do that for him. So come. be nice. So please him so that he will release money for the month. It's Friday. Friday. Please, please, please. Let us not We're struggling to feel good inside lockdown. I'll Please, yeah. <laughs> but this gist about the father beating up the, the child is yes. really hot. It's the whole of social media. Has gone I'm, crazy. As it's our topic today, so please prepare Calm your down. mind. We want to gist about it. But first, let's breeze through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, let's start with the nation. I came in late, so I didn't read the papers. I'll be depending on your knowledge on this matter. No <laughs> the nation, COVID-19, patients reject transfer to treatment centers. 108 new virus cases. Agbakogba, hey. Farhan, and others knock Umahi for barring reporters. MDN group to reduce stake in Nigeria arm. Wow. Buhari observes social distances in Ramadan. 
Okay, let's take a few stories here. The major headline? Yes. So <clears throat> um, the minister of um, the Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Bello, um, has said that there's this twist to the coronavirus, that um, a lot of uh, people who have been tested positive for it are refusing to go to uh, isolation centers. Mm. So he is going to invoke laws that will make them make him able to mandatorily make sure that they go to those isolation centers. So one of the reasons he's not going to let them just stay at home and receive treatment is the fact that they can infect their family members and their communities as lar at large. So he's going to make sure that everyone who has been tested positive will go to the isolation. And I also want to appeal to, and I think these are big men, so to speak. Yes, now, like yes. Governor El Rufai, they exactly. don't leave his house. I want to appeal to them that this case is getting very, very serious. We need to look at the numbers. Are we not seeing the chats every day? If you have a problem, go to the isolation center. Yeah. You'll be taken care of. I also appeal to us that we should ensure we use our face masks in public places, yeah, wash our hands, you know, yeah, the yeah, normal yeah. routine for all just right, taking so care of ourselves. All those big men that refuse to go to... They should go, please. please help us. Moving on now the to the back way. Go ahead. So the governor of Ebony State, Governor Umai, um, Umai, Umai. Um, made a statement that was carried on live television concerning two journalists, one Yesterday. from the Sun yeah. and one from. Vanguard. So now those two, the, the, this, the, the follow-up on the situation <coughs> is that you ca that um, Abakoba, Ulisa Abakoba, and Falano are saying that he has no right to place a ban on those two people from the state. He has come out and said he didn't do that, though. He said that it wasn't true, that the, the tape was doctored. They've asked him to release the undoctored tape <laughs> where he allowed them to be in the state. But mm. the NUJ are speaking up that you cannot, this is wrong, you cannot get power drunk. Because what the governor is saying is that he can't protect these people and that the go people of the his state now dislike the press and he doesn't can't know what they can't, he cannot guarantee their safety wow. in his territory. So if yeah. anything happens, he will not say he's involved. Even if it, 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 blatantly is already saying that your life is at risk, yeah, don't so come close. And we cannot afford that. And they were uh, highlighted the fact that the, the media are, is the fourth realm and they must be allowed independence do in doing their work. And I totally and support people what people always forget saying. that the social media is the fifth realm. Yeah. Yeah. It's the new realm. So, yeah. so, yes, as much as you like to dis discountenance or disregard what's on social media, but mm. they are as important as, as the, the fourth realm. So we need to begin to understand so that... The issues with these two journalists was because they were writing reports on Lhasa, deaths, right. deaths from Lhasa, and highlighting the and COVID-19 and the unpreparedness of the state and the issues within the state. And so you are now... OK, That's moving right. on to the punch. NMA fumes as federal <coughs> government says 40 health workers test positive. Mm. It's very scary. Mm. Family friends demand justice as estate chairman kills footballer. Lagos has certified 49 Abidjan returnees free. Policeman kills female colleague in Rivers. Federal government Chinese envoy meet over Nigerian positive cases in China. <coughs> Lebanese offering Nigerian woman for sale on Facebook arrested, thank God. Oh. Umahi live bind on journalists anti people says NBA and let's find one more story. 50 billion naira CBN loans to SMEs, others end 2024. Major okay, story. let's make a story. Yes, so the Minister of Health uh, is saying that about 40 health workers in the country have tested for uh, the positive. COVID, yeah, positive for the coronavirus. And uh, it also affected three members of the association who are uh, taking treatments in different isolation centers. Now, uh, they've been admitted in different isolation centers. The members that the um, members of NMA are complaining that they do not have enough uh, PPEs, that's the personal protective uh, equipment. equipment, to handle themselves. And he is saying now that it's, they, they didn't contact it because they were working in the isolation centers. These are uh, members who are working in different hospitals. And so if you want to protect every health worker, you should ensure that the PPEs get to the different hospitals so mm. that at least they can protect themselves while right. they attend right. to the patients. Right. And I agree with him. One worrisome fact is that amongst this, there are three confirmed cases of Doctors Doctor. in Alimosho local government general hospital. Hmm. We also have confirmed in Lassut general hospital that have now been confirmed to have COVID-19. Let's remind My, Nigerians, we don't have enough doctors. We've been saying it since. Yes. Our doctors ran away to Canada, UK. US, and UK. So we cannot we afford have to enough. have doctors on isolation. My plea would go to government, give every doctor <coughs> PPE. Yeah. Number two, if you have symptoms of coronavirus, don't go to general or private hospitals because I the presidential task force was saying in this same report that private hospitals have no right mm. to treat any case of coronavirus. Mm. So take anybody you see straight to the isolation centers. We have right. enough in Lagos to take them. Yeah. I want to take the human interest story. Yes, this, uh, the person that killed... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this happened in um, Iba, 
that's a, a, an aspect of Lagos. I don't yeah. know where Iba is. Iba housing estate. Yes, Iba housing estate. So the chairman of that estate, and um, they, they usually have this uh, vigilante where they come out and protect <laughs> uh, the citizens of their area in the night. So this particular day, they had he had an altercation with one of the members of the estate, and then he hit him first of all with his L helmet because he has a bike, the chairman. And by the time the guy held his shirt, a uh, shirt, he brought out his gun and shot him in the chest. Oh, wow. Now, put him in his bike, carried him, and left. Now, when investigations started, they discovered that the guy has um, threatened to kill this guy, Stephen, mm. for a very long, over three times. They've had mm. different issues, and he's been threatening, right. I will kill you, and nothing is going to happen. Mm. I am happy that um, investigations are ongoing. He's been picked okay. up, he's been arrested, and hopefully he'll be prosecuted for that. Okay, let's move on to Vanguard very quickly. COVID-19 discrimination, federal government draws line with China. Scaled down activities during Ramadan, Sultan Lagos Chief Imam others urge Muslims. COVID-19, FCT minister enraged as VIPs opt for home treatment. Omahi recounts denies banning of Vanguard, The Sun reporters, and UBA records double-digit earnings quarter one growth. For real? Wow. That's <laughs> right. Major headline with China. Who has that story? Yes, I have the story. So the federal uh, government is saying that uh, they've drawn a red line whatever that means with China, because of the videos they've seen on social media on how uh, discrimination is being carried out against Nigerians right. there. So they are saying that they are looking into it. That's the Foreign Affairs uh, Minister, uh, Mr. Joffrey Onyema. Yeah, they are looking into it, and that they've heard comments that probably because they are not doing so much because uh, China has been supporting us economically, but that's not one of the reasons. They've spoken to the Chinese government. They are saying they are not aware, but the videos they are seeing is showing yeah. that something like that is happening. Anyways, we have to Bringing out their red eye and yeah, red they line. also mentioned that they are going to work with other African countries yeah. so that because it's not Nigeria alone affected all the other African countries. They've spoken to the um, um, Emirates airline to see if they can evacuate people from China back to Nigeria. So we're looking okay, to see uh, how that happens. Uh, moving on to Daily Sun, 40 health workers test positive for COVID-19. We talked about that. Uh, China's maltreatment on Nigeria disappointing the federal government. Let's find a story we've not taken. ECOWAS um, names Buhari COVID-19 champion. <laughs> Why to decide governor's 14 days interstate lockdown proposal? Shippers lose 5 trillion naira in one month, 6.35% reduction of charges. That's interesting. Um, talk, we have that story. Yes, um, and I am very eager to talk about it. So the Lagos state chapter of Shippers Association has spoken up concerning how much money they've lost in the past one month, specifically 5 trillion naira. They said that while they appreciate what the NPA is doing, many other agencies need to waive their, their um, the, 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 the charges that the charges are acquired that the charges came up because they couldn't pay banks are not open mm. they can't go and pay and in the bank money. and deposit the money necessary to pay for their bills so demorage is increasing I said rather than the government should give incentives as palliative for shutting down our businesses are suffering mm. he also mentioned the fact that he would like them to specifically open banks two days in a week so that transactions they can mm -hmm. get documents he said doc they, they need discharge documents they need the shipping staff of various enterprises to pick in the shipping documents because they are not open. Mm. So I feel that we, the, the federal government the, um, president has already kept the um, MPA open because they know shipping is vital for this country. Okay. Let every other adjoining ministries to that open well. to also open as well, especially banks. Many people are complaining about the banks being shut down. Yeah, we'll talk about the it next week. The banks are actually shut down and there are some transactions you cannot get through. Uh, so you I can't pay him money. Wave, yeah, you can't pay him money. Mm. Okay, wave. let's move on to the Nigerian Tribune. Let's find a story we've not <laughs> taken. Lebanese who advertised Nigerian women for sale on Facebook arrested. Good, well, happy about that. Four killed houses destroyed as Anambra communities engage in land dispute. And Okonjo Wella recommends economic restructuring. I, I think she also said the same thing. We have to diversify mm -hmm. the other areas where well, we've been saying it for a long time I anyway. But um, so um, let's talk about Lebanese. Who has that story? I, 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 actually, there's nothing in that story. Just mm -hmm. that um, Honorable Abikadabri did announce that he's been arrested. His name is, I think, um, I can't remember. The, I, let me say, get, get the name. But he's been arrested, which is a good thing. And the, that, the um, swift response was and applaudable. Investigation. You know, what we really must applaud the swift okay. response. Okay, who has an Umbra communities? Yeah, so... Um, it is COVID-19. I'm telling you, so two communities have been fighting in Anambra state over the their land boundary. So mm. the uh, fights ensued and then about four persons were killed in the fight. It was a major fight. They destroyed uh, a few houses, houses worth millions uh -uh. of naira and i'm wondering in this covid 19 people are still fighting although oh, investigation yeah investigations are ongoing right now to determine who 
cost what and who should be prosecuted. Our heart goes out to all those that died. Nobody it's benefits painful. from a war. Nobody, that's no yeah. party. So why should we burn houses in this season? Unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. Congratulations to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Yeah. Fasting starts today. Yeah. Ramadan starts today. Their yeah, prayers so, are going to be online yeah. according to most yes. of their imams. So it's really exciting to see that. I like to see that, you know. <laughs> I, I, I always look forward to some of the, the lectures, you yeah, know, because I need some of those. Yeah, so I would like to watch that. So we can all participate yeah. and be blessed during this season. <laughs> Let's go on a break. When we come back, we get some updates on COVID-19 and later I'll talk about a hot topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So joining us on the show is the Chairman Ch um, Committee on COVID-19 Nigeria Medical Association, Lagos, Dr. Jafet Olubogi. Dr. Jafet, are you there? I'm here with you, Mariah. Thank Good you. to have you again. Thanks so we, we woke up this morning to news of the fact that 40 health workers have been infected with the virus, and that's quite worrisome. Mm -hmm. um, what is happening within the COVID-19 space? What, how are we protecting our health workers? Um, do, do they have enough PPEs and all that? Could you give us an update on what's going on, please? Yeah, thank you very much, Mariah, once again, for having me on your show. Uh, first of all, permit me to uh, clear the air on the statement I made last time I was on TV. I would like to apologize to uh, my medical record officer's colleagues, uh, whom I erroneously uh, said not to be one of the medic, uh, health workers. They are health workers. They are, in fact, they are part and parcel of the health workforce. Uh, it was a statement made in error. Uh, it's not even like I don't know that they are, but uh, I think the statement was made at uh, uh, the heat of the moment. So I profusely apologize to them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, back to the meat of the matter. Uh, health workers, uh, like soldiers, and the uh, we cannot send a soldier to uh, the work, uh, to the front, battle front without giving the soldier uh, ammunition mm. and uh, body armor and uh, helmet and boots and even uniforms. So uh, health workers need PPE. They need adequate PPE. Uh, from the transmission of uh, COVID-19, we have said it, I've said it on TV many times, that health workers are the most at risk. And health workers are the ones that can spread the infection quite much more easily than any other set of people because they uh, uh, have contact with these patients and uh, if, for God's sake, any one of them contracts the virus, they can spread the virus to other patients, they can spread the virus to their colleagues, they can spread the virus to uh, their family members. And uh, like I was trying to say the last time on TV, uh, when you get through the gate, Everybody in the health team is important. I always tell my team members, everybody is important. From the gate man to the doctor to whoever, to the attendant, to the cleaners, everybody is important. And everybody needs to use a PPE, some form of PPE or the other. That was what I said on TV the last time, and I'm saying it again. Everybody in the health sector, everybody that works in the hospital <sighs> needs to use one form of PPE or the other. And then PPE must be provided for them. By the end right. of All right, sir. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, I want to understand the exact situation. Is it that there is enough PPEs, but is not getting? They are not distributing to these healthcare professionals, or that the federal government does not even have enough PPEs? Because if we know where our problem is, we can now start devising means to solve it. What is the exact situation? It, it's hard to say, really. It's hard to say uh, because I don't know exactly what is going on in other parts of the country. But in Lagos, I know that uh, the, the state government says they have PPE, uh, and we have seen that they may have some PPE. So I think getting it across to the health workers on time is still an issue, logistic problem. But in other states, in other parts of the country, I, I do not know for, for sure mm. if there are adequate PPEs or not. Right. What we know is that whether there are adequate PPEs or not, health workers will be given adequate okay. protection. Right. Health workers will be given PPE. It's okay. not just enough for us to say we are treating this COVID-19. Uh, those 40 health workers that the uh, minister mentioned, mm -hmm. I am sure that they may just be more than 40 health workers mm -hmm. that are infected mm -hmm. with this virus already. So we right. need to be protected. All right. 
Go ahead, Jafet, I'm going to have to hold you responsible for the ones hap that happened in Lagos. Um, and I'm saying this because you are the chairperson. You are in charge of COVID-19 and the doctors involved. Now, while I know some of the doctors might be from private hospitals, and I'd like to ask you a question concerning those ones and how they should get protected, the three confirmed cases from Lasut and General Hospital in Alimosho are members of your association. They are your people. So right. how did they fall through the loop? How was it possible that they got exposed while working to COVID-19? After all the education, after all the awareness, after the fact that we've heard over and over again that PPE has been provided for them. So you, in this world, you cannot say, it's not my place, it's not doctor, it is your place. What could you have done better? better. Thank you very much uh, for that uh, question. Uh, well. Uh, as we all know, this virus uh, is an invincible enemy. Mm -hmm. So whether you wear PP at all in the first place, one can still contract the virus. Mm -hmm. That various means by which the virus can, you know, can infect uh, uh, somebody, and by that various means by which somebody can transmit the virus. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying is that when you wear PPE, or when you are sure that you have PPE to wear, or when you are sure that any time you wear your PPE, you have this at least sense of security that at least you are safe. That wearing PPE does actually not mean that you cannot contract the virus. So the cases in Lassus and uh, Alimosho, we have all heard some of the stories. Some patients come to the hospital without disclosing hmm. their travel list, without disclosing their symptoms uh, their, their completely. And they want to hide from doctors, they want to hide from health workers that they actually have symptoms of COVID-19. Mm. I think that is what played out in many of these facilities. Right. Apart from that, some private hospitals were treating cases of COVID-19 mm. in Secretly. isolation yeah. without letting us know. Mm. And that was not what the government wanted because mm. it, even if they are equipped to, uh, to manage uh, uh, cases, they are equipped to manage COVID-19 cases. Right. So Dr. Jaffet... Infection prevention control update to right. be able to prevent infection from spreading to, uh, to their team in health workers. Right. So, a quick so addition to the, the question. Avenue, this was the avenue where most health workers got the virus. Okay, the, the second part of my question was concerning the private hospitals. So, we have about 11 hospitals have been declared shut down because of exposure to COVID 19. My worry is the doctors have also been exposed, they would expose family, it's going to spread. Who's responsible for providing? Um, PPEs for private hospitals? Is it the private hospitals, um, CMDs that you hold accountable, or is it the government that's supposed to provide all private hospitals and every doctor, every medical personnel PPEs? Who should we hold accountable for getting PPEs to private doctors too? Thank you very much uh, for your question. It's in two parts, and I will uh, take, uh, take, take a look at it uh, from this perspective. Uh, from the onset, the NMA has been urging the federal government and the state government to provide PPE for all private hospitals. Now, this is because PPEs are now expensive to get. We don't manufacture most of them in Nigeria, even if we do manufacture one of them at all. We don't manufacture many of them in Nigeria. And so even if private hospitals have money to get, they may not be able to procure uh, these PPEs easily. So it, we called on the federal government to provide PPEs to public hospitals and even private hospitals. At least, I have been on TV for money for that on many occasions. Now, it is the responsibility of the MD of each hospital to find a way to provide PPE for their streaming health workers. Whether you get it from the government, whether you procure it, whether you manufacture it, it is, non, it is not the issue. But each CMD, who is the chief executive officer, who is the accounting officer of, of all the hospitals, should ensure that they get the adequate and minimally required PPE. For the All right. I wanted to ask about the VIPs that have COVID-19, <laughs> how we're managing them. Do we have a, uh, a portion of IDH for VIPs or uh, those of them that are home? Are we, are we trying to encourage them, appeal to them to come to IDH? Or how are we managing those VIPs that have COVID-19? Because we're getting it in the papers that many of them choose to be treated in their homes mm -hmm. and thereby exposing family members and loved ones. So wh how, what would you, how would you react to the issue of the fact that VIPs choose to be treated as there, home? There is, no, there is no VIP in COVID-19 no. uh, exposure. There's no VIP in COVID-19 treatment. There's no VIP in COVID-19 transmission. So we don't know. The EOT does not know 
uh, COVID-19. Mm. And NMA does not know COVID, uh, 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 VIP in COVID-19. What we said, what the EOC wanted, what the EOC stipulated is that anybody that is a suspect case must be uh, uh, given samples, must, samples must be taken from them. And then when they test positive, they must all be carted to the uh, isolation center. No, Jaffet, that's no not true. I know that no, when, no. when, um, Jaffet, the, when the true. Prime Minister of the UK got the virus, he was in his house, he was treated mm. from home. When our, the governor of uh, Cardinal State, they were treated from home. My point is... The policy is even self-isolate <clears throat> unless first. you now become... Or even if well, you they were positive. confirmed. Both of them were confirmed. Yes. They, they, they're actually positive. Mm -hmm. So the point is that, so my mm -hmm. question to you is that must they mm -hmm. go to the isolation center or die to the uh, or infection the disease center or they can actually be treated from home? That, that, we need clarity on that because we're that, feeling that, that, that the there's a two-way street here. That's the point I was making. That's the point I was making. Right. I was telling you that the EOC, the NCDC guideline does not say anybody should be managed at home. Mm. Everybody that has COVID 19 should be taken to the isolation center and managed there. That's mm. the guideline. Yeah, Jaffe, that's a new information. People, whether some people, some VIP, are being treated at home or not, it's a, it's a different game, it's a different uh, uh, issue entirely. Mm. And we are aware that some people are being treated at home, but we discourage that. Because the more you stay at home to be treated, the more you transmit this infection to others. The guideline says that everybody that tests positive should be taken to the isolation center. Of mm. course, I'm also aware that some VIPs refuse to go to the isolation center. Some VIPs prefer to be treated at home, but that is not what the guideline says. Even if they are asymptomatic? Even if they are asymptomatic, they mm. should be taken to an isolation center. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, in the papers this morning in Kanu State, the, um, I'm bringing it to Lagos, but I wanted to just give you like a premise. The molecular labs were closed down because most of the uh, professionals, the uh, healthcare professionals there, have been infected with the coronavirus. How equipped are the labs, the testing labs, the isolation centers here? How equipped are the people. professionals that are working there? Because if anything happens and they have to go home or <laughs> close down, we are in trouble. Yes, that was, uh, that, that was a very brilliant question. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, it's unfortunate what uh, has happened in Kano, and uh, we are all praying and hoping that uh, they can rise up to the occasion again uh, very soon. Uh, in Lagos here, we are already anticipating that uh, mm -hmm. as nobody is immune to the virus, as nobody is, uh, can be too equipped uh, to contract the virus. Uh, even I personally uh, want to take the test because I've been exposed. I feel I've been exposed a couple of times, so I want to take the test. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, the EOC uh, already anticipated something like that happening, and they are not at liberty to disclose what they are doing or what they are planning, but I know that there is a plan in motion to uh, bring in people. They are volunteers who have been lifted. They are already calling them. So they have enough hands on deck that even if uh, uh, anyone uh, of the members of the lab or case management has the virus, another person will come on board and continue from where uh, they stop. A quick question, sir. So there's this conspiracy theory that people who uh, test positive are those who actually go for the tests. That those who do not take the test at all, we've not had cases of people just dying in their houses from coronavirus. So it's when you take the test that there's likely something that will happen and some will have it <laughs> and others will not have it. Just help us clear the air, please. It's outside there. No, 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 no. That's absolutely not true. Uh, don't forget that uh, we did uh, active case search or we are doing active case search and we have visited over 800,000 households. Okay. Out of these 800,000 households, we picked about uh, uh, 1,400 <laughs> who had uh, symptoms that are similar to uh, COVID-19. And we tested all of them. And uh, just three or four or five of them came out to be positive. Mm. So uh, okay. it is not... It is not uh, all right. uh, I, I, have to, it. I have to let you go, Dr. Javi, but I can't let you go without asking this final question. Um, the doctors from, from China, they've done their 14 days. Now they're out. Um, are they coming to Lagos State, um, IDH? Are they coming to see our patients? Or what's the plan Mariah, with them, Yone? Uh, Moraya, I think we should be asking the Minister of Health that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just check. You dodge. So Nigerians are monitoring these doctors, I'm where they are going, <laughs> everywhere they go. Know, they're eating breakfast, they're monitoring them. them. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> okay. No worries. Thank <laughs> you so much, Dr. <laughs> Jaffet, <laughs> for joining us Thank this you morning. Thank you for having me. We've been speaking <laughs> with the Chairman Committee on COVID-19, Nigeria Medical Association, Lagos Chapter, Dr. Jaffet Ulubuki. Let's go on a break. When we come back, our uh, hot topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So in the midst of all this COVID-19 matter, <laughs> a video trending online about a father who had paid $21,000 for his son's school, school fees. The boy came back home, failed all his exams, except for music. Mm. The father was caught on camera with no, not caught, actually his mother, the mother was filming <laughs> um, the child whilst the father was, uh, was slapping him. The video recorded and um, quite a number of viewership mm. across. Now, so we ask, is the father's action justifiable? What, was, I mean, what, what would have been the best way or the best approach <clears throat> to handle this situation? Please join the conversation 070 8066 You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your VTVC so we can read your tweet. I know YK was also interested in this conversation, so we'll try to call her at some point later on just to hear her views <laughs> on this. But um, let me start with um, who wants to go first? Yeah, you go. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? Because when I'm I saw the video, so, I mean, wait, wait, before I even saw the video, mm. When everyone was talking about, about it, I was like, ah, ah, what rubbish is that? Can they beat in the child like that? When I now watch the video, I said, ah. They did not beat him. That beat. <laughs> you should come My to that My was that that slap did not sound. Did you hear anything? Hey, they were slapping growing up for small misbehavior. I will see black. Then I'll see twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> that slap is not anything. Now, they were, before, I, I want to build a premise to my point, and I want to read just three comments here. One person said, 21K USD, that's when you convert it, eight, about 8 million, wasted, and it's still sit down under AC. That's one offense. The person said, my dad gave me 1,000 Naira to buy understanding mathematics, and I didn't give him 300 Naira change. <laughs> Results came out, and I failed maths. My dad put me in a, inside a drum, rolled it in the compound, and asked me to be shouting, I am a thief. Hey, <laughs> that's one. The second one says, 21K USD. The time I went to excursion at Olumo Rock, and I didn't jot anything. <laughs> my father made sure I didn't eat every night for two weeks. The excursion was just 2,500. The final one. The person said, OK, le let me leave yeah. that one. So my point is. We all have our responsibilities. So as a parent, my responsibility is to pay your fees, take care of you, ensure that you have a good life, struggle, and most, oh God, most parents struggle <coughs> to see their children through school. Your responsibility as a child is to put your head down, study, and pass. That's all. That's all you're doing for me at that moment. Now, even if you don't want to do any other thing, and it's music you want to do, you should at least have a conversation with me. I said, Daddy, I'm really not interested in school. So that we don't waste that money. Eight million naira. Does that look like a father that will hear conversation? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no let's not assume. Let's not assume. <laughs> but even if you don't tell me that you are not interested, it's the, the, the question is not that he failed the subject. He was absent in mathematics and English. That means he was playing truancy. So the time you were supposed to be in school to attend to your examinations, you went to go and do something else. And you are complaining that so I let me slapped pause you. For a second. Let me pause you for a second because ah, I, go flog you I, 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 I do agree personally that um, that that was that wasn't spanking really. But the truth is, let's let, let's let's call it speed is speed. Mm. We all went through that process yeah. when they beat us black blue. Yeah. Did he make us a better person? I don't know. It worked for it's, me. It's it's it, it, it's debatable. Mm. A lot of a lot of families. I think um, one of our former co-hosts had said it here mm. that they beat her. And it made worse. It made it worse mm. because the more you hit a child, you push them away. Mm. They can't come and have a conversation with you. Mm. A child that you could have invested more time, resources with, mm. you would you would lose that child because you hit it. So different children like the, the, the different children respond to different ways of discipline. There's some children that they expect you to talk, have a man-to-man mm. -man conversation. Mm. There's some children that yes, they need that stick. There are others that it is it is it, it is maybe getting that communal support that mm. will help them. Mm. There are different ways it's in supporting each other. So but the point is that. As much as I agree that that, what well, I saw, yes. is not as serious as the, the, the drama I heard. Bam. But the truth is, was it necessary so, to hit a child that much? OK, so um, we grew up with corporal punishment. Yes. Many of us were beaten, you know, were punched. Some parents would sit down on you, and they would like, ah, sit I will show you. you. I will show you. You want me, you want me to, you want to kill me? Before you kill me, I, I will kill, kill you. you. <laughs> and. In actual fact, it was a largely misguided approach to dealing with children. Mm. Because if we remember well, 
we were hardened. Yeah. So even as the parents were saying, they were like, no, sin, mm. you, go, you go punch me, your hand go tired, and they will now harden our body. So when, it's, when she, your parent is beating you, that the person's hand go the pain. Because we were hardened by the fact that you are not having a conversation with me. This child was deliberately absent. Two subjects. Deliberately. It wasn't, it wasn't that he was sick or anything. So for me, I sense that there was a gap. And most parents beat their child out of frustration because they are unable to get the result they desire from that child. Mm. I want you to sit down, you don't sit down. Mm. I did not ask you why you're not sitting down. Maybe there's a boil in your bum bum. So what I now do is I beat you till you sit down without listening to realize that there's actually a boil in his bum. That's why I did not sit down. Mm. When we refuse to communicate, we are venting it's anger and we beat the child. My son is going through a phase. He's frowning, angry, all of that. Mm. I said in, in, in a Facebook live that what I just said is that I've beaten, I've done everything. I realized that these things are not working. Mm. So what I've been doing now is when I see him frowning his face, I would hug him and squeeze him. He will burst into laugh. Mm. That is when you are looking for troubleshooting strategies. Mm. But from the, vid the video I saw, that man was frustrated with his money mm. going away. They've not and wasted your money beating before. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's he's, he's beating the child right. out of frustration. Right. Before, it right. is not because he wants to say, oh, my child, I want the best for you. Yeah. Is that I am frustrated. You wasted my money. I'm going yeah. to beat you. Eight million. Okay, let me take this call from Sandra from Ikenja. Sandra, are you there? Hello, good morning. Oh, thank God. That's the name. Thank, thanks for calling. Thank God. <laughs> Hello. Okay, um, Go ahead. Okay, the reason why I'm calling is because... Um, I'm a first-time caller, actually. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so my point to this um, um, bone of contention right now is, is um, based on the fact that, for me, I feel what should actually happen is um, parents should actually are allowed to beat up their children, actually. Like, in the Holy Book, it's actually stated as third road and stop the child. Mm. But in this kind of generation, what we'll, they will find ourselves, our parents should be able to understand clearly mm. where beating comes in. So they should be able to do it with all sense of understanding that if they get to be this child too much, it will only make the child more stubborn. As in, you know what I'm trying to say? Confirmed. That's just my own point confirmed. and my own. Thank you very much. That's a very good point. So there are different parts of this. I remember growing up, my mother never hit me, but my father, I stole biscuits. I will never forget. <laughs> it was talk, TUC, and the short bread. My stepmother had sent in baked, fresh baked cookies. My father had brought in uh, boxes of talk and shortbread. The talk and shortbread belonged to his friend, though it wasn't his own. And I now saw biscuits, mm. and I thought it was mine. And I said, Daddy, can I have? He said, yes, go ahead, it's yours. He, I, I was referring to the talk and shortbread. He was referring he was to, to the one my, my stepmother had sent to me. And I went to, did, I did a feast. I gave it to my neighbors, houseboy, driver, the street, <laughs> me got everybody. I was giving a pack, 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 pack. Ah, Saturday morning, I was sleeping. I was eight years old. I was sleeping. I, was, I woke up with my father, Mariah. <laughs> I ran to my father's room. You ate my biscuit. You ate my biscuit. He took a belt, mm. locked the door, mm. threw it in the dustbin, made me stood down, and he beat the living daylight. <laughs> Did you try it again? Of course not. Yeah. No, no, but no, no, the no, point no, no, is that was, that was an error. That, I, I have never forgotten. I had no idea. I was traumatized. Mm, I, I will never forget that morning. Thank God, uh, my father was he's still alive. He was in my house that Saturday morning. He came to beg on my behalf <laughs> because he was he had a, he had a meeting with my father that day. One doing breakfast. He was my father. I was kneeling down. He said, "You like biscuit, Abi? Mm. Now put the menu box in front of me. Mm. I give you one minute. You must finish this biscuit. Say <laughs> you like biscuit." <laughs> So the point is that in Did our parents' honest? mind, yeah. they are disciplining. But yeah. I was traumatized. Yeah. Beyond that, you, you did not eight. deliberately do it. I didn't tell you to do it. Yes. So you, you just eight. damaged. Yes. You, you, you almost understand. damaged something I'm, I'm in not, me. I'm not saying that uh, we shouldn't. We should hit our children. That's not what I'm saying. Yes. But let's put. We're, we're talking about a particular case. Now I remember that when I was uh, getting into the university, my father called me and said, "How many years is that your course?" I said, four years." He said, "That four years, I will not pay a penny extra." So if you stay seven years, you will pay the balance. <laughs> and that thing, I, I know my father now, that thing stuck in my head. Even when I'm traveling for beauty pageants, I go with my books. <laughs> because my father will not pay a penny extra. My daughter is going to be 11 on Tuesday. Right. When I was taking her to year six in a British school, I called her. I said, Kosi, sit down. You see the school I'm taking you to because mm. I want the best for you. It's a sacrifice for me to pay this amount. I did not go to that kind of school, but I'm taking you there. If you are not going to give me the best grade, I know you have the capability to do that. Mm. 
please let me leave you in a mm. local school. Mm. And we had an agreement. Mm. She sat up. So in she, case she doesn't pass, in what do you know? She do? doesn't pass. And we withdraw her. I told her already. I told her the consequences. Okay. So my point is okay. Okay. this guy is a teenager. I think the man is frustrated because probably they've not been having conversations right. before now. Right. Yes, that's, that's the thing. So you're exerting frustration on your yes, child instead that's of having a proper conversation. But that's Let me take this call. Thomas, are you there? Yeah. there? Hello, Thomas. Hello. Thanks for calling. You're live. Go ahead, please. Okay, please. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm not for you guys. Uh, my name is Thomas. I'm calling from Southland. Yes. I'm enjoying your program. Actually, Thank one of the latest players there, yeah, because the man, the man used to play PG. What did he happen? The man never even PG. The man never even PG. He's a romantic thing. Like, as he said, to portray anger, he even shook out of pocket. It's my father. I am going to get back now. BK. I'm worried about the people who sit down. The party people who sit down. That one, that one, who pay me. Then he, not to say he is he is absent for class, for exams, two major courses. You no know show. Mm. Then that is not an issue. Nobody should discuss this one. The boy just get locked in. We're going to try to get you. For those of you that have no idea what we're talking about, because there are some people that have not seen that video. Uh, I'll see if, the, if, the, if our producers can put this video uh, to, together for us so you can see what we're talking about. But talk, go ahead. Please. So there's another as aspect to this. In that, a boy decided to be absent for maths. He, he, he missed the maths and its English class, but got distinction. He got distinction in music. Mm. I hear you. So the boy was exceptional. You mm. see, it's a different thing if the boy is dumb, mm. generally. But he got a distinction <coughs> in music. So it shows there's an, there's an area of strength. And a lot of times, parents try to force children that you must become a doctor, this you must become a way. lawyer. But the child says, I want to do music. You now force him into doing your course. Mm -mm. He decided to give you the results of your action. Mm -mm. Now, both parties were wrong. There should have been more conversation. But the boy actually deliberately did not go to those, do those exams. And he specifically studied hard to get distinction. So he could have, been, he could have done a lot of in, spice in music. Yes. to show the father. Yeah, I didn't want to I'm do that course. Yes. I'm not doing that. Yes, I don't want right. to do the course you want no, me to no, do. We know, we, a few things we know for those that, 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 that didn't watch that. He's 14 years old. Mm. He got four slaps, I think, and a, mm. and a, and a punch. Mm. It was booze, booze, and then the punch. Not be punch. To, don't knock him. Don't just small knock. That's smart. But so, <laughs> so the point is, um, was that a necessary approach to fixing? Does, that, does this beating fix the problem? problem? Because he's just 14 years old, remember? Mm. Mm. He still has whole, his whole life ahead of him. Yes. Yes. Does this beating fix the problem? Another problem. Why did they post it online? Why was the mother recording it? So in my head, I was you know, wondering. the results. Yes, I was now wondering, what was the woman trying to achieve with that? Sometimes I threaten my children, because I know my children like to be, oh, Instagram, I see you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'll tell them that I'll video you. If you will be on the bed, I'm going to video you and post online. So we make those threats. But you shouldn't carry out those threats. So in, in your mind, you think that by posting it online, you will be, make the child feel embarrassed. But the backlash was on the man. Mm. So the wife did a video and posted online. Now, speculation is that the man has lost his job. There was an attack. They said he has been called to be, because it happened in Zambia. The Zambia police officer, police has called the man. What were you trying to achieve by posting it online? Even the son will be mm. bullied by his friends. Yes. He'll, he'll definitely have issues with, with, with his friends. they know and him. Yes, so How must you post it online? Punish your child inside the house. It's a secret I matter. The guy the verse, I don't blame him. So let me point out some things. It's probably more like a YEC kind of examination. So it's not like he has gotten into the university mm. and he had to choose a course. Even if you want to study music, you need mathematics. You need English. You need ma more mathematics than English for music because music is mathematical. That is it. Two, even if you want to study uh, music, it doesn't guarantee mm. that you are a good singer or that you will blow. Mm. There are millions of people who sing, who are musicians, who have not seen the light of day. So it doesn't guarantee anything. This is a simple wayek that will take you to whatever course you want to study tomorrow. And you cannot give me six credits. You pass only two. She, he passed only to have the, the results. You are talking, no, you're talking like the parents, the child is living for the parents. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm the one paying the fees, though. And as a child, under my roof, did your son ask you to pay hold that on, fees for him? Did he tell you, tell you I want to go to this school? Mm -mm. They were, let us be you, careful. You are paying, wait, 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 no, wait, let them, let them, I, I hear you. Yeah. But sometimes, putting your child back out of school is a, is a prestigious thing for you. No, yeah. for me, it's not. No, no, that's you. We can let us begin to imply different things from this story. We can actually see that this man, for him, is about that 
um, going to that, that prestige of being in this American international school. I disagree. Some people just have just want that. I know that. Mm. I disagree. So in that kind of situation, maybe he doesn't want. Maybe that boy doesn't want any of that. I don't need that okay. to be a musician. Some of us went to local schools. I went to a very local school, yes. and yet I could not come with a very poor result because they will beat me. It's not about the money for the a parent. It's about the fact that you are a child. You are fourteen. Do you think you know what you want? Some of mm. us adults are still finding out what we want. <laughs> we really do not know what we want, so we cannot leave a child at that age to start making all of life's okay. decisions. I, okay, I'll, I'll, As a parent, you yeah. need to step in to right. say, for now, I totally agree before you're you yes. 18. Parents must guide. I don't yes. But the truth is that this parents issue must, must of corporal impose. punishment yes. is what we want to discuss. That because do we want to continually encourage corporal punishment? All the corporal punishment we've been punishing for years. Yeah, How many Africa. cars have your as Nigerian uh, created? <laughs> How many airplanes have you created? The country matter. that not do corporal punishment. How many planes have they produced? They the point is that the there are other ways, are ways mm, of getting the best. If you mm. think it's by beating up a child that will become a doctor, that, that that's false. That's but let me take I this call from from Daniel. Daniel, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay. Um. Um, you know, actually, growing up, you know, growing up, you see us playing football all around after school. We'll play football and everything. you see our parents. They will, they will tell you, oh, is that what we sent you to school to do? Either, or you now, you see families, even carrying their, taking their children to, <laughs> to go and play ball. Academy. You must play the <laughs> football. <laughs> like there is a... There is a football now is a milk and honey or what mm. sort of. So what I'm saying is, if he pass only music, mm. if he pass only music, why not just focus on that music? I know that you need some other subjects or whatever to do music, but there are music school. school, music school. Take him to music school, increase him. Well, that's why the Westerners are more, 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 more productive than us. You understand? Credit. They don't kill our children, we don't kill them. Okay, is that what you are doing? Oh yeah, let me focus you, let me take you to this, whatever. Right. And sorry, lastly, if you know, if you know that your, the, your, children, your, your friend's children, your, 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 the friends of your child are not giving your child some productivity, cut them off from your, uh, right, your, your child. Right. Thank you. All right, point thing. So we're going to go on a break, but I mean, as, as I said, I want us to focus on the issue of corporal punishment and if it's, if, if it's, if it's needed. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this matter, and uh, we'll be having our celebrity guest join us in a moment. But before we have that, um, Toko, I wanted Please to say... Yes, I wanted to say that the truth of life is that these children are their own entity with their own identity. Our jobs as parents is to guide them, not to impose our desires on them. Many Great. people have lived their entire life regretting the courses they did and the life actions mm -hmm. being imposed by their parents. We, as parents right now, must align with the strength of the child mm. and help them maximize their potential. Mm. Enough of us imposing and fighting and punching each child. These children are a gift, <coughs> and we must nurture mm. them right, not just fight. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let, me join, let me get our celebrity to join us. Mm. Thanks for having us. She's a Nigerian film actress, filmmaker, director, and producer. She's indeed one actress that took Nollywood by storm upon her arrival. Mm -hmm. Ever since her advent into the movie industry, she has been making waves and winning the hearts of many Nigerians. She recently won the Best Actress in Drama Award for her role in 2019 movie, Elevator Baby. Welcome with us, Toy Abraham. <laughs> yep, yep. How are you doing? I'm fine. How Good to you? have you. So you've been hearing our conversation on this uh, Father and uh, son matter. We'd like you to we'd like to hear your thoughts on it before we move ahead on other things. Go ahead. What do you think? Ah. Did, they, did he beat, beat him? him? Yeah. Ah, I will beat my son. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But would you? Would you ah, slap him? I will like beat that? you. <laughs> Twenty-one thousand know, dollars. It's not even about the money. It's not right. about the money. Yeah. It's not about the money, but I'll beat him. Mm. I will. But the, the thing is, maybe I'll first of all look at his countenance, his reactions towards it. it was you know, sometimes some children, they do not actually want to fail. Mm. 
but it's not their fault. Mm. I understand. Right. So, but if I see the way the reaction, mm. but at least, ah, uh, well, at least I will slap at least once or twice <laughs> before I even listen to anything. Yeah, Trust me, see, I will beat me. What I, what I saw in that video, uh, Twain, is the fact that music is not an easy course. I have somebody who did who majored in music. Music can be quite difficult because you go through history, literature, you go through the technicalities of, of music. University it's not, it's not an easy um, course to do. So I know, to get a distinction I know. Maybe in music. Maybe the child wants to do music. But let me tell you, it's just reflex. I'll be right. the child first. You say reflex. Then we'll sit down and have a conversation. Right. Right. At least I'll be the child first. Then we'll sit down and have a conversation. Okay, do you want to be a musician? Yes. I'm okay, happy. yes. Then why didn't you tell me? <laughs> right. You know, oh, the kind God, of Nigerian parents are reflex bits. Like, uh, yes, it's just reflex. At least I have to slap my child like twice. Really? It's twice, slap? once or twice. But yes. today, modern knowledge, and I come to this now. Mother and all you parental experts, yeah. tell us that I am corporal to... punishment is not right in today's <laughs> times. Now listen, mm. to almost see, you have to have mm. a conversation. Mm -hmm. You have to talk to them. Yeah. Because if you beat them, they are pushing them further away. Mm -hmm. So that's what the parental experts are telling us today. Yeah. And that is totally against the whole spoil, uh, spare the road. Beating, beat the, beating a child does not mean you're, 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 you're pushing them away. Mm. There are so many ways that you can train your child. Yeah. The way I'm training my child, like my husband, like my, my husband would tell you, Tony, the way I would train my child, even when I beat my child, my child will know that I'm beating him or her out of love. Yeah. Mm. I'll be very close to my kids, <clears throat> very, very close. We'll be yeah. very close. I won't stress them. Mm. But you can't tell me I'm not going to spank my kids once in a while. Mm. I will be... <laughs> my... <laughs> you pick your point. As in, she wants to speak in talks before the VT. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, so been... for me, um, actions uh, have consequences. So that is the reason I had a conversation with my daughter. So that you know that when this action, if you choose this way, this is the end result. If you choose the other way, this is the end result. What I see here is that there's a ga communication gap between the parents. Definitely. It's possible the boy has been showing signs. Is it even possible that the boy really just wants his attention mm -hmm. as a father? Definitely. There are a lot of things that are involved in that stuff. But I wouldn't be blaming or the maybe man. The guy just want to, maybe he just want to be a musician. Maybe he loves music. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. Totally correct. You now feel every other hey, But sometimes, you know, the, that's the reason why we have parents. Hmm. Go ahead. That's why we have parents. Mm. You know, that's why we have parents. Our parents are supposed to guide us. Yes. Right. They are supposed to guide us. Do you understand? So sometimes, and our parents see it beyond what we see. Yes. Mm. I remember when I was growing up, anytime any of my friends comes, my, my mom will laugh, my, my mom will pray, pray for us, everything. Sometimes some of my friends will come, my mom will still pray, but my mom will just tell me, so mm. you die your friend, just be careful. Mm. And guess what? That friend would definitely <laughs> mention Show our true color. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So you see, our parents sometimes they see beyond. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes when you want to do things, especially when you are not of age, they think, Thank okay, you. yes, they have to put you through, and definitely but they you, have to put us through. How will you judge the mother that was filming this entire episode? Was, mm -hmm. the, you think, was that right? That's the, that's the only problem I have in the whole video. Mm. That's the problem. The mother is the problem. She's the only problem I have in that video. She, nice she's the problem. Video. She's. Mm. I don't even know what to say. I don't want to say what is not right. <laughs> but she's the problem in that video. That's the fact that you watch your cards be your child. I expected you to even you have to be so involved join. in no. yeah, join yes. 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 Join join the the to join the meeting. Yes. You wanted her to join the meeting. So Tony, let me be clear. You're not because of that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's I thought you were upset, so upset that so she did that she was the ah I you're upset that she didn't join the beating, Tony. I'm no, she doesn't have to be, no, two, you, George, you can't, just two of you cannot be beating just a child, you yes. understand? But at least let the child know that you are not in support to me. Yeah. Right. Act it. Okay. Act yeah. angry. Okay. Mm. All right, you know, so. Act I, angry. You right. won't laugh as well. You call it, your father is angry. You see, he slapped you like four times, but he's angry. I'm angry too, but you better go and beg your father. Mm -hmm. Because if your father loves you, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you correct the child yes, with love. Yes. But I don't even know why you were recording for documentation. Of I do, as in, <laughs> exactly. May I say that? Yeah, um, there's a time, there's time for everything. Mm. So when you are raising a child, you understand that sometimes it's, 
uh, the time for dialogue. And other times is the time for punishment. You need to be able to, as a parent, use both you know of them the if you hate. really want to have a whole child. Now, I also want to say that that boy is the first son. And whatever example he sets, the younger ones are going to follow. Remember that they were sitting down in that room while the beating was going on. They are watching their elder brother, who they see as a model. So if the parents don't get it right with him, it's going to affect the rest of the children. Mm -hmm. Let's also consider that I am not for corporal punishment. Too. <laughs> Me, I can do once in a while. But I, ad I don't advocate it. I'd rather have that conversation. I'd rather try to understand you, know okay. who you are as a child, right. and try to guide you in that direction. Okay. But there are some mess-ups that we do. I will flog you. Okay, <laughs> let me... I have to go on a break now. Let me, we'll, wrap, we'll wrap up on that, because when we come back, we'll ask to you about how she's doing in this COVID-19 lockdown. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So we still have Tony Abraham with us. Uh, we know you are doing quite a bit of humanitarian activities during this COVID-19. Could you tell us about it, please? Yeah, um, I just feel um, the only way to support uh, my fans and the society is by giving, giving out information, verified information from NCDC, and by giving food and some other items, money, at least in my own little way. And um, I was able to do in um, Ogun State, we did in Kano, mm. Ibadan, Ugomosho, Lagos, Kulatitishin, Elori. <laughs> so yeah, you send money to them to pack food for them and give out? Yes, you know, because I have a child, I have a baby, mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't really, I can't go out myself, right, you right. know, I can't go out because I have That's a baby. Sure. I wish I can, but I cannot, you know, it's easy for us for, it's easy for us to talk whatever something is wrong with us, but in charge, you wouldn't know. Right. So I had to send money to some few of my fans, my trusted fans, right. you understand, to get it and share it. And they send video and so other things. So I posted some on my page. Yes. I've deleted some many. I've deleted a lot, but I still have them on my phone right. just for people to know so other people can do as well. Right, right. So, right. so and it, we still um, sent money. We still gave some people money yesterday on Twitter. We're still giving up people money to help them. Right, right. So w I honestly appreciate what you're doing. I think that we cannot have mm. too, too much of good deeds. But as a celebrity, there's also this feeling of entitlement that ah, every celebrity has money, and if they don't do for you, they don't have it. So I'm happy that you have and you can do. But there are some other people right there in your movie industry that they don't even have. So and they are looking at you and saying, Tony is doing because she has. How I don't have to do. So what would what, what, what would you say to people like that? And how would you address such people that have turned this coronavirus into business to beg from every celebrity and they are collecting from everybody? Mm. Yeah, Good I questions. know, but you know, trust me, it's not easy. Like three years ago or three four years ago, I'm I'm sure I'll be in the, I'm, I'll be in the show of the celebrities that won't be able to give. Mm. Mm. So I started making money in this job fully, like three years ago. Mm. You understand? That's mm. one. You know, a lot of people that do not even need this thing, they just come in. Some people mm. have seen it as job. Mm. And, and I don't want to mention it. I, I know some Andrews that they will beg from me. They will beg from my friend. They will beg from every... In fact, the money that they make it give, ah, <laughs> means if I have not made such money. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Okay. Money they make every day. You know, but there's nothing we can do. We can't help the situation. But what I do is, once I want to give you money, Instagram, I'll go and check your page. It's a new page. And I like Twitter. Twitter is very easy. You understand? Twitter is so, so easy. Twitter, mm -hmm. you just, once you click the person's page like this, you just see, yeah, oh, this account, you know, you know the time that the account came into existence. So right. you can tell. So right. once I realize that, you cannot tell me April 2020 20, and you want me to help you. I know it's a fake account. Mm. You understand? That's smart. So you that's do due diligence. Um, that's good. That's I didn't know that. Thing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, I want to know the sort of challenges the people who you've sent to distribute foods uh, outside the country, um, outside the states, and outside even the within states. the state. Uh, yes, the challenges. Why I'm saying this is because we've seen other people who are... Uh, distributing and we see how Nigerians 
who are supposed to be receiving with gratefulness how they react and nearly mock the people who are there to give them aids and uh, palliatives. So I am, um, because of that, a lot of people have been scared and skeptical to go out there and distribute anything. So just, everybody just sit in your house. So did your people face all of those challenges? Um, yeah, the crowd was much. You know, every, it's just like that. You're giving things for free. You expect a lot of people there. So the crowd was much. They complained. But, you know, I just had to tell them. And, you know, it's not like um, what I do is I will send someone from each state, anybody that lives in the state, so that is familiar okay. with um, the environment. So they were able to undo it. I know it was not easy because I saw the video of Quara State. I was like, geez, mm. but Oshun State did well. Kano, right. yes, because it was this actress that helped for Masura Isa. She mm. was the one that did help me with the Kano. Right. But Akure was not easy. Badon was easy as well. But Akure, um, I said Akure, Ilori, right. the crowd was massive because mm. they did it in the market. But right. we thank God at least right. we're able to give our things. Because of little time, I have to ask you this question. You said God is showing us his power with this coronavirus. Why did you say that? <sighs> Because right now, I feel after this whole pandemic thing, if the world does not change, or if you, if we do not change, if you do not change who you are, then you have a problem. Mm. Because right now, what? God is just letting us know that He is God. Right now, there's nothing that matters again. Nothing. My car is parked downstairs. My husband's car is parked downstairs. There's nothing. All we just want right now, we just want to live and eat. <laughs> Survive, right. We just want to eat, live and Reality. eat. There's no competition. I don't know. There's nothing like you, you want You want your movie to sell more than another person's movie. <laughs> no time. It's not like one to go for that. Yeah, home. So you understand. So what everybody wants right now is we just want to live. We want to yeah, I want to survive. Want to mm. Right. Mm. That's it. We just want to survive. Okay, that's the word. Mm. All right. So everybody... And then finally, motherhood, uh, marriage, life. How is your baby? Our favorite couple at the smile. moment. <laughs> I can see the smirk on your face. You know, <laughs> tell us about that very quickly in ten seconds. Ah, they, I'll tell you. About okay, yeah, one minute. Yeah, yeah, one minute. No, one minute. That's one minute. the sweetest thing that could happen to anybody. Oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. Go ahead. It's 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 a it's a new experience <laughs> and it has really changed me. You know, Aww. trust me, I'm I'm grown. Aww. I can tell you anybody now that I'm a woman. Hey. Now I, am. I feel like crying. Congratulations to you. Yes, it has yeah. really changed me. You know, coupled with the fact that I got married to a good man mm. and a very mature Happy man, so it has really really changed my life. Right. It has really changed me. Right. Everything about me has changed. I'm grown now. We're happy I'm not you. what the only people used to know. Yes. My ah. name now is Mommy Ingwe. So hey. you know, hey. <laughs> Thank you so much We're for joining great us. Great to have you. you. Great to have you. We You're have to welcome. go now. Thank you. All right. So <laughs> that's you. all we can take. Um, don't forget to wash your hands. I would actually personally plead that we should please ensure that if you are having symptoms, please open up to the caregivers because mm -hmm. healthcare workers right now are having issues because many of us are not disclosing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please, that's very important. Please. Before I go, I have to also say this. Let me say, oh, Jesus Christ, I have to say, I have to give you a birthday shout out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because this person sent me a message and I forgot to. I usually don't. It's Nima. It's Nima that does this work. <laughs> I tell Nima, <laughs> you started, <laughs> started a can of worms. But um, the truth is that this person actually has been telling me um, um, the 16th wedding anniversary oh. of Gloria Ojekwa. Mm. Ojekwa, that's a family. And um, so I really appreciate them. It's also her birthday. And Mr. and Mrs. Otis Ojekwa, today is their wedding anniversary. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy, happy wedding anniversary. anniversary. I usually don't do this because many people send it to me. <laughs> they say, please send it to Nima. Nima will be the one to do it. But I just had to do it for this family. Thank yeah. you so much. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.